In 1987, a couple woke up to a masked man standing at the foot of their bed at roughly 4 a.m. He reached into his duffel bag and pulled out four sets of handcuffs before demanding that they lie on their stomach and cuff their wrists and ankles. He whispered, be quiet and don't move or I'll hurt someone. Since he was armed, the couple had no choice but to comply. The intruder then left the master bedroom and gently woke up their 7-year-old son and 11-year-old daughter. He then calmly walked them back to their parents' bedroom. He seemed to be confidently and precisely following an exact set of steps, although at this point the family was still unaware of his motive. Once he rounded up all the family members in the master bedroom, he finally communicated his plan. He stated that this was a simple robbery and asked for clothes, money, and food, but the family had a bad feeling. After all, this seemed like a lot of work just for a simple burglary. However, the parents had no choice but to comply. The intruder taped their mouths shut and blindfolded the kids before forcing the parents into their wardrobe and barricading it shut with furniture. He then used their bedroom phone to make a call, but his conversation was largely unintelligible. He then took the daughter to a separate room and assaulted her before thoroughly bathing her. Afterward, the intruder left for the kitchen to have some of their leftovers and milk. He finally left the home through the front door at about 6 a.m., meaning that this entire ordeal lasted about two hours. This was only the first attack of several, and news outlets soon gave him the moniker of Mr. Cruel. Despite the creation of a task force dedicated solely to finding him, his identity remains unknown to this day.